La Ruta Maya Belize River Challenge is a three and a half day canoe race held annually on the largest and most historic river in Belize. The contestants start at the San Ignacio Bridge and paddle approximately 180 miles downstream to Belize City. Watching these people paddling, it's, it's something great. I think they also feel very proud of doing that. The contest is now a national event and half the nation comes out to cheer. It's a very beautiful race in the sense that we get to know a part of the country that some of us tend to forget. We don't tend to be tourists in our own country. Every year, La Ruta Maya grows bigger and the paddling times of the racers get faster. In 1998, the first year of the race, there were 22 contesting boats. This year, 70 teams registered for the race and 60 officially completed the course. It's been very rewarding to watch the uh, Ruta Maya canoe race go to the point that it is right now. And people that don't get a chance to come up front, and man, uh, they're really doing great with the Ruta Maya canoe race. I want to big up those people. The race has two classes of contestants, and each boat's crew leader must decide his team's status as amateur or professional at the start. The two categories of racers compete for different prizes. Each morning, all participating canoes gather at the official starting line. Strength, experience, and strategy all play a role in the fierce competition. Arrival at key stations during the day and at the finish line each night is recorded by video cameras. British Army personnel serve as official timekeepers for the race. Their authorized results are posted at the end of each day's event. If you want to paddle a Ruta Maya, you should have nothing less than six months of training. We had only two weeks. The teams are unusual in that most consist of three racers each rather than two. Many paddlers practice for months in advance, learning how to most efficiently navigate the river's many bends, occasional rapids, and hidden shallows. The waves can become tricky. Athletes are recruited from all over the country. I'm a fisherman and I heard about this Ruta Maya, so I decided to get in it. Many international participants are drawn to the event as well. We work for a civil engineering consultancy over here in Belize. It's good to be able to say you've done it. That's one thing that I'll be able to take away from it. I was born up around the Mississippi River. I named the canoe in honor of my great-grandmother. She used to call me her little swamp witch. I'm coming in last place, but that's okay. I'm gonna do it again next year. Teams put on an amazing show of endurance. At the end of each day, after covering 50 to 60 miles of river, many paddlers yearn for a massage. Most spend the three nights of the race in tents at pre-designated race campsites where there's plenty of traditional Belizean hospitality and oh the food. You know, camaraderie also and the spirit of sharing. The La Ruta Maya race makes a major statement about Belizean tradition, about local appreciation of this culture's Mayan roots, and about the whole country's pride in its clean and beautiful river. We're talking about the environment, we're talking about the culture, we're talking about the history, uh, leading all the way back to the Mayan civilization. This was the main archery of commerce in, in the days back when the most famous uh, chicle uh, extraction was going on. The Belize River was the heartbeat of, of Belize back in, in the early colonial days. When we started the river cleanup programs and the Save Our Rivers program, we used to have small little canoe races. We grew into having a lot more canoe races 
and Kaluri started to become uh, very popular in the Kerala district. We said purified water, water sport, canoeing, uh, let's do it. Together, give yourselves a big round of applause for the fourth route of Maya ever. Time to pedal, time to row. Our river is still in good health compared to many rivers in the rest of Central America and the world, having something beautiful to offer. Hundreds of spectators and the paddlers, they appreciate so much this river. Much of what makes the Belize River Challenge a success are the numerous enthusiastic contributors. Many local businesses sponsor individual boats or special prizes. Together, these sponsors donated $30,000 Belizean this year in prize money, allocated in diverse ways. Much of the money went towards station prizes for the first crew of a particular category to reach a certain spot. It's not big money, but yes, it pays to win. And more than that, it's self-esteem. Uh, there are some businesses now that really want to win. Oh, very exciting. We live along the side and we give the best share. This race, I think you just keep the whole country alive. Instead of not doing anything, you're doing something. Last year's prize for the most beautiful decorations and warmest welcome went to the village of Flowers Bank. So we're going to try our best to win that again. We have it in mind. <laughs> La Ruta Maya has inspired a lot of boat building activity in Belize. This year, the seven professional teams that led in the race results all paddled canoes made in Belize. Belizeans are proud of their paddlers and of their boats. The dugout canoes did extremely well. If you plan to be an international challenger, you can expect to encounter tough competition in this race from local crews. We fall into the power saw, then we table it, then we line it, and then we start to work the inside, dig it out. We use X and H. I am proud of it. I'm a volunteer out here, and I heard about the Rujumar River Challenge when I first arrived, and it instantly just sounded like something that had to be done. You can't come to Belize and not have a go at a crack at this, you know? So that's what did it. We've actually done really well, and we're, we're very happy about our position, and hopefully we'll stay in this position today. We're sponsored by Aguadas Hotel and Cayo, so they did a lot of the the hard work behind it just to get us here and moving between places. It's hard. It's not easy by any means, but it's um, we've got our spot secure. We're about either second to last or last, so nobody's fighting for our spot. <laughs> so we're pretty much having a good time cruising down the river. Private donations also help to fund the cost of safety boats. In addition, many local leaders generously volunteer personal time and energy to the cause. This year, on the last day, the Chalk Creek Canoe Team crossed the finish line first to the wild cheering of the crowds. Ladies and gentlemen, estos 400 dólares Javier son de John Tin y tú me lo platicas en inglés. The overall winner in terms of paddling time on the water was Coop Sheet Metal. They traveled the 180 mile race in only 20 hours, 13 minutes, and 56 seconds. In 10 years, I can see La Ruta Maya Belize River Challenge becoming a real endurance sport. I think uh, Ruta Maya is uh, going to grow a lot. It probably have uh, more canoes next year. And I think that uh, even if uh, international teams would come, the trophy would still be easy.